Hey, how's it going everyone? David here and welcome to another reaction. This episode we are diving into The Good Place Season 2, episode number 12 called Somewhere Else. Yes, indeed, it is Season 2 season finale. So I am super pumped. Hopefully you've been enjoying the series. Hopefully you are having a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Head on over to Patreon for the full uncut, unedited reactions over there. Episodes extra early over there as well. With that being said, buckle your seatbelts. Let's ride. A person's score during her time on Earth is final and inarguable. But because of my accidental experiment, these four humans got better. When I was six, I hit one right on the butt. Okay, let the immortal beings talk, darling. So they got better in <laughs> little pretend. Damn, that was intense. Look at my you arm, think? y'all. Look. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Maggie Smith is my godmother. <laughs> anyway. You have made mm. so much progress. Yeah, some serious balls, Tahani. It's been one of the craziest years of my life. <laughs> one of? Yeah, I'm not sure what I would do if one more insane thing happened. Oh, big moment, Maggie, Chidi. What's up? Whoa, shoot. Okay, Chidi. Would anyone eat chips and guac if I put it out? It's good. It's homemade. <laughs> All right. Second. Oh, no, that's the thing about medium places. It has to one be person? tailored to what's medium for the individuals. Between a month and a million years. Yeah, so, yeah. Give or take. A really Come long time. Come on, you guys. I know this isn't perfect, but I need more time to build my case. You do good things because you're good, not because you're seeking moral dessert. And I Yo, still she's not lying. They though. shotgun, I go shotgun. It's never gonna work, man. Jason. Doesn't, then they go. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay. Excuse me, why am I like this? No you way. Me, wow, they're gonna let them live now. Life changing experience. Take... I mean, I could have died. God. Whoa. I don't think they're going to care. Right near there. I was in Syracuse, New oh, York. Eleanor, get out of like here. Selfish. I cyber bullied Ryan Lochte until he quit Instagram. Look at her, yo. Something happened. Did you get laid last night? I didn't. Tried hard. This chick that I <laughs> And your panties, please. Dude. What? what? Come on, I had to try. <laughs> By the way, technically that's assortment of brownies that I will be bringing to my <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Eleanor. She's joining the team. Dude, look at her. Hi. Doing it. Dude, look at hey, her, yo. Such, such progress. Forever, literally starting right now. Jeez, so dramatic. I'm still really glad we took How is that working out for you? <laughs> Man, everything's being thrown back her way. Yeah, that sounds like more fun. I'm gonna do that. Eleanor. Eleanor. What, Eleanor. Dude? So it's a Ponzi scheme within a Ponzi scheme. That sounds kind of dicey. Oh, it's super dicey. But I mean, <laughs> protection. Boo! Happy birthday! Hello, bartender. Michael's what gonna be here. I'll drink, please. It's my birthday. If you want to give it to me for free. Want to talk about it? In the Yo, end, he's so desperate. Is the problem really with being a do-gooder. What's that? No one cares. Right. I mean, some people care. Very true. Bit, but... What do I owe you? The real question, Eleanor. What, what do we owe you? Owe each... Oh. Dude, he tried, man. What do we owe to each other? That is the question Tim Scanlon asked decades ago. And it is the question I will try to answer over the next three hours. Hey, dog bait, didn't you get my message? Let's go, time is booze. Nope, yeah, no she's thanks. not gonna be gone. Um, are you Chidi Anna Kendrick? Anna Kendrick, <laughs> yes. Anna From the long nerdy. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, man. Never ceases to amaze. Seriously, never ceases to amaze, man. Well, there you have it, The Good Place season two, season finale. Great one, man. To me, to me, the episode was definitely a different vibe, but all good vibes, man. Definitely all good vibes. I think uh, for this episode, I'm definitely gonna give it a nine, and then for the season in in total, the season two, I'll probably give it a nine too. I'm still gonna give season one a slight edge, 
over season two simply because I think that the season one finale is just something that was so out there. It was crazy. But I don't want that to take away from anything season two because season two has been nothing short of amazing. I think there was like an episode or two that I didn't care too much about early on. Then through editing it and everything, it definitely got better uh, as far as the episode goes. But to me personally, what I liked about this episode, even though it didn't follow Jason and it didn't follow Tahani and it didn't follow Chidi for the most part, it followed who, you know, we've been following for the entire show for the most part. I really didn't think they would go the route of giving them life again. Giving them life on earth again. Saving them from the situations that, what that killed them. And then making them finish out their lives, live their lives out. Just to dictate if they're good people or not good people. And the one thing that I took from this is the fact that Eleanor, when she first got there, was instantly grateful for not dying from a near-death moment, wanted to make change, started to make change, did a really good job at making change, quit her old job, started working for a new job about the environment, apologized to everyone she needed to apologize to, she did all the right things, you know, made her bed, donated her clothing. All the right things that you wanted from her was she was executing them at a high rate. She was definitely doing a really good job early on. And the problem was. And to me, what the problem is in, you know, the world we live in today is that a lot of good people or good deeds, if you will, are overlooked they're not appreciated enough. And it takes a very strong individual, in my opinion, to realize that just because you do something good, just because you do something that to you feels right and it's beneficial to someone else, doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get the appreciation you deserve. So a lot of people give up. A lot of people you know, crack under the pressure because at the end of the day, no one wants to do something and feel like they're wasting their time. And if you're doing good deeds and nothing's coming of it, after a while, you're probably going to start to feel like I'm wasting my time. And so, you know, she started to slip up. She started to make mistakes. Michael noticed it almost right away because obviously they've been hawking and staring down him and Janet how they're, uh, you know, progressing, how they're doing and everything. And so for him to throw himself back into the situation, to simply guide her back to the right mindset. I don't know. I think like, again, I, there are funny moments in these, in these, in the show and these, in this episode and, and, and in the show and, but it's the story. Like, I come to the good place for the story. I don't come, to, I don't watch the good place for the comedy. The comedy's an added bonus, but I come for the story. And so now this kind of sort of sets up season three as life on earth as Eleanor. How that's going to be like her relationship with Chidi away from the good place slash bad place. This is going to be her relationship with him on earth. But then it starts to tie into like what what can Eleanor bring to Chidi that will save him from his own, you know, demons and his his, you know, everything that went on with him and and how he ended up in the bad place. Like, what is she going to do to steer him away from that? None of them know what none of them knew. Like, they don't there was no life before. Or or after death. It's like that's wiped completely from their memory. They're just continuing to live their lives as if that moment where they died was no longer the moment where they died. And so they're continuing life. And so just a really, a really good show, man. A really good uh, writing, really good storyline. I thought that once the season one 
uh, finale was such a, a big twist and craziness was going on that I thought it'd be hard to top it. It is still, I mean, to me, at least, I'm not putting this season over season one. But season two deserves respect, too, because season two is good. To me, season two was either on par or better in some cases than season one was. But since season one had such a crazy, uh, epic twist at the end, it's really hard to give season two to me uh, the slight edge over season one. But that's the episode. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hopefully you enjoyed the reaction. I do apologize in advance for the clips being a lot shorter than what I want them to be. NBC, pain in the butt. YouTube, copyright. They're just not digging it anymore, man. So uh, I think I form I found the formula. Like I said, 10-second clips. Maybe an 11-second clip. That might be pushing it, but uh, just keeping it short and sweet. And so hopefully you enjoyed and got to see you know some of the reactions to certain moments throughout the episode. But, yep, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I will catch you guys later. Bees, guys.